Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Greetings to you in the name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And today here we are at Croydon to declare that Jesus Christ is God. He is the Savior, He is the Messiah and He is the soon coming King. As we stand once again to declare the gospel that Jesus Christ loves you. The Bible says, For God so loved the world, that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have life eternal. And that's why we need to see that Jesus Christ came for everyone, my brother, my sister. And the greatest gift is that He loves you no matter what you are. You are my Bible. I can Hallelujah. And that's what we are here name? standing What's your name? to declare the love of Jesus. Pastor Jolila, so in the past. Jesus What's loves you, name? my brother, my sister. Mahmoud. And that's why we also Mahmoud. love you. Jesus loves then UK, you go, Jesus your, loves London. Do you, do you believe Jesus and Jesus loves you. He is the Savior, He is the Messiah, and He is the soon coming King. He is coming any time from now, on an unexpected time. Jesus and that's where the gospel something. has to be preached about Jesus Christ. He is the Savior, He is the Messiah, and He is the soon coming King. One thing you need to understand, my brother, my sister, Life is not sure, life is not guaranteed on this planet Earth. Life is not sure, life is not guaranteed any time, anything can happen as we are living in the last days and the most dangerous times of our life. And that's why one thing you need to understand, my brother, my sister, that if you die, where are you going? The Bible speaks of two places, one is called heaven and one is called hell. Whether you believe it or you don't believe it, after you die, you will automatically believe it when you land up there. So we do not want you to land up in hellfire, that's why we are here to declare the love of Jesus Christ. Because he died for you on the cross of Calvary. He shed his precious blood. Because one thing you need to understand, we are all are sinners. No one is righteous. No one is holy. No one is good. And no one is perfect. There is not a person on this planet earth who said that I have never committed mistakes. I have not done anything wrong. Because no one is good except God. And that's what God demonstrated his love through Jesus. And that's why Jesus Christ came on this planet earth. He lived among men, he had the same feelings, he had the same emotions and he understands you better than what we understand. People don't understand you, they misunderstand you. But one thing you need to understand that Jesus loves you very much and that's why we are here to spread the gospel about Jesus. That his cares about you, he is concerned over your life and he is the one who can change your life, he can transform your life, he can renew your life and that's why today Jesus loves you my brother, my sister. No matter for which country you come, no matter for which continent you come, one thing you clearly need to understand that Jesus Christ loves you. And that's why today we are here to declare the love of Jesus. He loves you the way you are. He loves the way you dress. He loves the way you shop. He loves the way. He's interested in you more than anyone. My brother, my sister, one thing you need to understand, there is no one who is concerned more about you and about your soul. It's about Jesus. Because the Bible says, what a man, if he profits, he gains the whole world, or what a man can give in exchange of his soul. One thing you need to understand, my brother and sister in Christ, life is not on our side, time is not on our side, any time from now, anything can happen. We know what happened last year in 2021, in 20, in the pandemic, when the coronavirus hit the country of United Kingdom. We have seen every day, we watch every day on BBC, we watch every day on Sky, how many people have died and they are no more with us. Because when death comes, my brother, my sister, you are not sure whether you are young, whether you are old, whether you are sick, whether you are healthy, whether you are a celebrity, whether you are a minister, does not matter. Because life is not guaranteed. One day, we all have to die. But the problem is when we die, where do we go? Many people don't understand the concept of life after death. And one thing you need to understand, that when you die, where are you going? Where will you go? That's very much important. Because if you do not make it to heaven, then you have just wasted your time, you have wasted your money, you have wasted your life doing nothing. And that's why today Jesus is calling you, my brother, my sister. He's calling you by name because he came to call everyone. He came to call everyone. He did not come to call religion because Jesus Christ is not interested in religion. We are not here to preach of religion. We are here to preach of uh, the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus is looking for a relationship. The relationship that was lost in the Garden of Eden when Adam and Eve sinned against God. And that's how sin came into this planet Earth. 
And that's why Jesus Christ had to come to take away our sins. And how that can happen is only by dying on the cross. And that's why Jesus Christ died for you on the cross of Calvary. He shed his precious blood and is coming back very soon to judge the living and the dead. Because you need to understand, my brother, my sister, life is not sure. Today you may be suffering from sickness. Today you may be suffering from disease. Today you may be suffering from diabetes, from TB. You may be suffering from mental health, like dementia, or paranoid schizophrenia, or bipolar. Today you may be stressed. Today you may be depressed. But does not matter. Jesus Christ is here. Because he's the healer. He can heal you of your situation. He can heal of your body, no matter whatever sickness you may have, no matter whatever disease you may be suffering from, no matter whatever affect you, you do not have to worry, because Jesus Christ is ready to heal you when you call upon his name. He has healed many people when he came on this planet Earth. The Bible says that whoever came to Jesus Christ, he touched them and he healed them. He healed the lepers, he raised the dead, he healed the paralytic. He delivered those people who are having demons and today he can deliver you and set you free. He can take away your depression or your suppression or whatever stress you have. My brother, my sister, today you may be going through problem, you may be going through a lot of suffering in life, but one thing you need to understand that Jesus Christ love. Because for every problem there is always a solution and the solution is Jesus Christ because his concern over your life, because his mood with compassion, he loves you very much, that's all. What is speaking about the Bible? He says, love. God so loved the world that he gave his begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have life eternal. That's why when Jesus Christ came on this planet earth, he only demonstrated love. He loved everyone whoever came. The one thing you need to understand. Because Jesus Christ did not come for righteous people. Jesus Christ did not come for holy people. Jesus Christ did not come for good people. Jesus Christ came for you and me. That's why you need to understand that Jesus was known as the friend of sinner. Who was his friends? His friends were tax collectors, those were alcoholics, with those he sat and he ate. That's why they gave a title to Jesus, the friend of sinner. And today, my brother, everyone is a sinner. No one is righteous. Hallelujah. If you want healing, God can touch you and heal your mind, your body and your spirit. Because one thing you need to understand, life is not sure and life is not guaranteed on this planet Earth. Any time from now, you can die. Any time from now, you can die. Whether you are young, whether you are old, life is not guaranteed and life is not sure. And that's where, before you die, you need to accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior because the greatest miracle is salvation. Because the Bible says, for there is no other name which salvation shall be attained. And that's where Jesus Christ came for you and for me. My brother, my sister, if you want to pray, we are here ready to pray for you. We are here to pray for you. Whatever sickness you may have, whatever disease you may have, whatever may be your problem, we believe in the power of prayer that God can heal you and deliver you of your situation and your circumstances. That's why whoever wanted pray, they went to Jesus. Whoever wanted a healing, they went to Jesus. Whatever problem they had, they went to Jesus and he did not charge them of any money. He healed them free. He understood their problem. And that's why Jesus Christ came for you and for me my brother, my sister, and again is coming to judge the living and the dead. That's why we are here to declare the love of Jesus. We are here to say that Jesus loves you very much, irrespective of your, your religion, irrespective of your background, irrespective of which country you come. The good news is that Jesus loves you. He loves everyone, my brother, my sister. Today you may be busy in this world. You may be in the bank at the moment, you may be traveling in the tram, you may be traveling in the bus, you may be traveling in the car, you may be doing window shopping, you must be eating up in all the finest restaurants. But one thing you need to understand, that Jesus Christ loves you for He came for you and for me. And that is a good news, sir, that He has promised us a place called heaven. He has promised a place called heaven. Because one thing you need to understand, there are two places, sir, when a person dies, one is called heaven and one is called hell. Hell was not made for you, my brother and sister. It was made for the devil and for his fallen angels. Because heaven is a beautiful place. And that's why in the Gospel of John 14, verse 6, he said, I am the way, the life and the truth. No one can go to heaven except through me. Your money cannot take you to heaven. Your business cannot take you to heaven. Your girlfriend cannot take you to heaven. Your boyfriend cannot take you to heaven. Your partner cannot take you to heaven. But Jesus can take you to heaven. 
because that's what he has promised you. That's what he has promised everyone, my brother and sister. He has promised everyone. He is not a respecter of person. He is not a respecter of religion. He came for everyone. He loved everyone. Jesus Christ, you loved. You can read the Bible. He only showed love. He only showed love. Only in the Bible you will see that Jesus Christ said, forgive your enemies and pray for your enemies. That means he never hated anyone, but he only demonstrated his love by dying on the cross of Calvary. My brother and sister in Christ, he demonstrated his love. And today, Jesus Christ loves you the way you are. He is interested in your life. He is concerned in your life. He is the one who can change your life. He can take away your problem. He can take away your sorrow. He can take away your burden when you come to Jesus. Because Jesus loves you very much. My brother and sister in Christ, that's what Jesus demonstrated his love for you and for me by dying on the cross of Calvary. He suffered for your sin and for my sin and Jesus Christ is coming back very soon. And today the good news is that Jesus Christ loves you. He wants you to accept him as the Lord and the Savior. Because there is only one Savior, there is only one Messiah and his name is Jesus Christ. And that's why today we are here in Croydon to declare that Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you my brother, my sister. Whatever you may be, Amen. Jesus loves you. Amen. He accepts you the way you are. Today you may be a drug addict, today you may be an alcoholic, today you may be living in sin, does not matter. Because Jesus Christ came for sinners like you and me. He has come for everyone, my brother, my sister in Christ. And today we want to demonstrate the love of Jesus. If you have any problem, we are here to pray for you. We are here to pray for you, my brother, my sister. We do not charge anything for prayer. We pray freely. There is no charge for it. But if you want to buy anything in the market, they charge and they put back. But whereas for us, we pray for you free and we believe that healing is free, given by God. You don't have to go to the doctor, you don't have to go to the hospital, you can come here and we will pray for you and God will touch you and heal you. Because the Bible says that whoever came to Jesus, he touched them and he healed them instantly. There is not a sickness, there is not a disease, there is not a virus on this planet earth that Jesus cannot heal. And he heals you freely, he does not charge you of money my brother or sister. That's why today he is calling you by name. He is calling you because he is interested in you. He has chosen you from the womb of your mother. He has called you because one thing the Bible says that we are made in the image and in the likeness of God. God created us, my brother, my sister. He has created the heaven and the earth. He has created us in his own image and his likeness. And what he has promised us, he has promised a place called heaven. Whether you are young, whether you are old, does not matter, my brother, sister. One thing you need to understand that Jesus Christ loves you and Jesus Christ is interested in you and he doesn't want you to go and burn in the hellfire because when you die, he wants you to be in a heaven. Heaven is a beautiful place, my brother, my sister. There you don't have to work. There you don't have to struggle. Everything is given to you free and that's what Jesus has promised us. Jesus has promised his disciples. Today he is promising you and me because Jesus Christ do not change. He is the same God as today, today, forever. And that's why today he loves you, he is interested in your life. My brother, my sister, come now is the time. Because life is not on our side. Time is not on our side. Any time from now, anything. Because life is not guaranteed. Life is not guaranteed. No one on this planet earth can say that how long they are going to live. Whether you are young, whether you are old, whether you are you are strong, does not matter. Whether you are celebrity, does not matter. You may die one day. But when you die, where will you go? You know last year what happened in 2021? Lot of people died of COVID. Always we are watching the figures in the BBC. We are watching the figures in the sky and they are telling, Oh, today so many people died because of coronavirus. And one thing you need to understand, my brother, we are living in last days. You know, any time from now you can die. Any time from now, you can die. But the question is, where will you go? Where will you go? Where will you go, my brother, my sister, today? A question is there that when you die, are you sure you're going to make it to heaven? Are you sure that you're going to make it to heaven if you're going to die now? Are you guaranteed that, yes, if I die now, that I will be in heaven? If you are guaranteed, then God bless you for that. But if you're not sure that you're going to make heaven, we are here to pray the salvation prayer. Because one thing you need to understand, you need to accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Because He came for everyone. He came for you, He came for me, He came for everyone. And today, we can say that Jesus Christ loves you. Jesus loves the people of Croydon. Jesus Christ loves the people of UK. And that's why God blessed this nation. 
God has provided everything. Why? Because they loved God once upon a time. But today, they don't think that they need God. They don't think they need God. They are busy on their own life doing they go into the pub, sir. They go into the club, sir. They're going and playing football, and football became their God. But once upon a time, if you look in the 1970s and 80s and 90s, sir, this nation had the fear of God. These people feared God, my brother, my sister. And today, God wants you to come back to Him. He's looking for you and for me because He still loves you. Today, you may be a prodigal son. Today, you may be a prodigal daughter. You said, oh, I do not need God. Oh, I have money. I have power, I have famous, I am fame, I have everything, I am a celebrity. But if you are not sure that you are going to make it to heaven, because your money cannot take you to heaven, your business cannot take you to heaven, your fame cannot take you to heaven, my brother, my sister in Christ. There are many people, there are many people who came and they died, but where are they? Everyone knows about the pop artist Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson was very famous, he was, everyone knows Michael Jackson throughout the whole world. But where is Michael Jackson today? Michael Jackson is no more my brother, my sister in Christ. And that's what, whether you are celebrity does not matter. When you die, you are God. And before you die, you must make it sure that you are going to heaven. Before you die, you must know that you are going to heaven. Because if you are not going to heaven, you have wasted your time, you have wasted your business, you have wasted your life for doing nothing. That's why today he is calling you by name. Because he knows everything about you, my brother and sister in Christ. That's why it's high time to believe in the gospel. It's high time to accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Because He has chosen you from the womb of your mother. He knows everything about you. Nothing can be hidden from Jesus, my brother, my sister in Christ. And today He is the only one person who is interested in you. He is the one who has loved you with an everlasting love. No one can love you as how Jesus has loved you. Jesus loves this nation of United Kingdom. Jesus loves London. Jesus loves Croydon. Jesus Christ loves you, my brother, my sister. That's why today we are here to demonstrate the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus has never hated anyone. You know what Jesus said? Pray for your enemies and those who hurt you. If anyone spit at you, he told, forgive them. Hallelujah. And that's what we need to understand, my brother. He has died for you on the cross of Calvary. And he's coming back very soon. That's why we are here to declare the love of Jesus Christ. We are here to declare that Jesus loves you very much the way you are. Come today. He is calling you by name. He is calling you by name, my brother, my sister in Christ. Come on. Today, accept him as the Lord and Savior. Because life is not on a shirt. Today, you are walking busy on the road, sir. You are not guaranteed what is going to happen the next hour. You are not guaranteed that when you die, that you, are you going to get up tomorrow? Are you sure that you are going to wake up tomorrow? No one can give you guarantee, my brother. No one can give you guarantee that you are going to wake up tomorrow. Today you are alive, but we do not know tomorrow whether we are going to be alive or not. We do not know in the night we may die. Because one thing, death is uh, sure for everyone. And before you die, my brother and sister, come. Come now today, he is calling you. He is calling people of Freud Come now, Jesus loves you, he is calling the way you are. He has chosen you, my brother, my sister. He loves you very much. We love you, that's what we can demonstrate. We are not preaching about hate, we are preaching about the love of Jesus. We want to demonstrate his love. Because whenever Jesus Christ was on this planet earth, he only showed love. He only showed love. Because love comes only from God. God is love. God is love, my brother, my sister. He loves you very much the way you are. Come today. This is your time. This is your hour. This is your season to come to the master. Come today. He is calling you. Today you may be like a prodigal son. Today you may be like a prodigal daughter who has gone away, far away. And today you may ask, oh, will Jesus love me? He is the only person who loves you unconditionally. Whatever you have, you must have messed up your life. You must have messed up your life. Does not matter. He can forgive you of your sin. He will accept you. He will embrace you. He will love you, my brother and sister. And that's why Jesus Christ uh, loves you, my sister, there. Come now is the time. Let's come and come and believe in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. He loves you. Come now. Today, we are here declaring the love of Jesus Christ. We are here declaring the Jesus Christ love. Though it is cold over here, though at the moment the temperature is 3 degrees, today we are standing and declaring that Jesus Christ loves you. Because Jesus Christ says that this gospel has to be preached before the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and then the world will come to an end. That's why we are preaching the love of Jesus Christ. Today you may be thinking, oh, these people are crazy. What are they doing when it is freezing up? Over here, 
does not matter because we have to say that what Jesus Christ loves you, my sister, there or they come. If you need prayer, we are here to pray for you. We are here to pray for you, my sister, my brother. Come. We pray God can touch you and heal you. He can take away your problem. He can take away your sickness. Sir. When you come to Jesus, He will accept you the way you are. This is the time, this is the day of salvation. Because the Bible says, for there is no other name with which salvation shall be attained. There is no other name that salvation shall be attained other than the name of Jesus because He is the Savior, He is the Messiah and He is the soon coming King. That without Jesus, you are lost in this world of sin. That's why come now, He is calling you. He has promised you a place called heaven. He has promised a place called heaven and it is given to you free. You don't have to pay for it because Jesus Christ already paid for it on the cross of Calvary. He paid the penalty by dying on the cross of Calvary for your sins. And today, Jesus Christ is coming back again. He's coming back again, my brother, my sister in Christ. Come to Jesus. He will love you. He will accept you the way you are. Does not matter because we are here not to preach about religion. We are here to preach of relationship because Christianity is about relationship between God and between man in who he has created. And that's why today he loves you, my sister, whether you're in the bank, whether you're walking on the streets, whether you're eating, does not matter whether you're drinking coffee, does not matter. One thing we want to tell you, that Jesus loves you the way you are. Come now. This is the time, my brother, my sister. Come now to Jesus. He will accept you the way you are because he loves you. He has loved everyone. Jesus Christ has never hated anyone, my brother, my sister, because we love you with the love of Christ. And that's why today we want to, to demonstrate the love of Jesus Christ by preaching on the streets of Croydon to that Jesus' name being glorified. Because he deserves the glory and the honor. And today he is calling you. He is calling you by name. He is calling you by name, my brother, my sister. He is calling you, sir. He is calling you, sister. He is calling you by name. If you have a prayer, come. We are ready to pray for you. We love you with the love of Christ. We love you very much. Come to Jesus, my brother, my sister. Come now, he is calling you by name. Because he came to save and seek the lost. He came for sinners like you and me. No one is righteous, no one is holy, no one is good, no one is perfect. There is not on anyone on this planet earth who said that I have not committed sin. There is not a planet earth who says, oh, I am righteous, I am good, I am holy. No, because Jesus Christ did not come for good people. Jesus Christ did not come for nice people. He came for sinners like you and me. That's why they gave a title to Jesus. You know what was the title given to Jesus? He was known as the friend of sinners. He was known as the friend of sinners, my brother, my sister. And that's why today we are here to declare the love of Jesus Christ. Come, because there is no other name that salvation shall be attained other than the name of Jesus. He loves you with an unconditional love. He loved you with an everlasting love. Because the love of God is greater than the love of human being. One day your boyfriend can leave you and go. One day your girlfriend can leave you and go. One day your partner will leave you and go. One day your wife will leave you and go. One day your husband will leave you and go. One day your children will leave you and go. But Jesus Christ said, I will never leave you nor will I forsake you. Because the love of God is unconditional. But where is the love of man or love of a woman? is selfish. is conditional. That's why Jesus Christ loves you with an everlasting love. He loves the way you are. He has promised in his word that I will never leave you nor will I forsake you. That's what Jesus Christ said, my brother. And today, he loves you. He is watching from above. Whether you will accept him as the Lord and Savior. Do not delay for we are... We are running out of time. We are running out of time. Any time from now, the rapture can take place. Any time from now, Jesus Christ is coming to take the, the church, my brother, my sister. That's where it's high time to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10 verse 9, that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus died for you on the cross, you will be saved. And that's where the Bible says in John 3, 5, that whoever, unless one is born of the water and spirit, he shall not enter the kingdom of God. And that's what Jesus Christ came for you and for me. He came for everyone, my brother, my sister. He's concerned over your life. He's the one who changes your life. He's the one who can transform your life. He can do great and mighty things. He's a miracle working God. He's a healer. He can take away your problem. Because for every problem, there is a solution. And the solution is only Jesus. 
There's every problem. People are running uh, to which doctors. Uh, people are running every way for solution. There is confusion every way. You're not guaranteed, my brother. Even after taking the vaccine, you're not guaranteed that you're not going to get COVID. Uh. People have even taken the booster vaccine. They still got COVID. Why? Because they are running in confusion. They do not know. They do not know, my brother, my sister. There are many people who have even taken the vaccine, they're still they're getting the coronavirus. Uh, because we are living in a world of confusion. And that's where come to Jesus. He will touch and heal you. He will heal you of your sickness. He will heal you of your disease. He will heal you of any virus. Even if you are suffering from cancer, he can heal you. If you are suffering from TB, he can heal you. If you are suffering from asthma, he can heal you. If you are suffering from diabetes, he can heal you. If you are suffering from blood pressure, he can heal you. If you are suffering from liver problem, he can still heal you. If you are suffering from mental health, he can still heal you, my brother. That's why come today to Jesus Christ. Because whoever came to Jesus, he healed them all, the Bible says. Because he was moved with compassion when he saw the sick. When he saw the disease, he was moved in compassion. The Bible speaks that even Jesus healed the lepers. But Jesus also raised the dead. Bible says clearly, proof and evidence is there. That he raised the dead, he healed the lepers, he healed the paralytic people. Whoever came to Jesus Christ, he healed the blind, he healed the dumb and the mute. Bible clearly says that he healed whoever came to him and even today Jesus can heal you of your sickness. He can heal you of your disease. He can heal you of whatever virus you are suffering from. Even it may be cancer. Maybe the doctor has given up hope. Maybe the hospital has given up hope. They say there is no hope for you. You cannot live. But come to Jesus, he can touch you and he can heal. He can touch and he can heal you of your sickness, of your disease. No matter whether you are suffering from TB. No matter you are suffering from cancer. No matter you are suffering from diabetes. No matter you are suffering from asthma. No matter whether you are suffering from mental health. Come now to Jesus. He will touch and heal you. My brother, my sister in Christ. He has the power to heal you. He will not charge you of anything. He heals you whole because he's moved with compassion. Even till today, Jesus can heal you, my brother, my sister. Amen. You want to speak? You can stop it, yeah? Let's stop it. Hello, we have finished this section right now. Praise the Lord, we pray one minute. Very Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for this session right now. The people are walking here, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bless the city right now. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, I pray. And may our God bless everybody, in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.